welcome to all. It's such a great opportunity to see all of your faces on here today. Uh, such a great thrill for me to see all of you and uh, join me today. We're going to learn a little bit about Princess, just in case there may be some new people on board uh, who don't know Princess as a brand so well. We're going to quickly review uh, who Princess is as a cruise line and what we have to offer, what makes us unique. Then we're going to get into our wonderful world of itineraries that I have for you. And then we're going to get into that great three-day sale offer towards the end. So bear with me, all will be revealed at the end. I'd like to just start off talking about the food on our ships because all of us know um, that uh, food is such a very large uh, aspect of any cruise that's out there. And you know what, I have technical problems here. If you guys don't mind, I am just gonna stop sharing for a wee second. That's and good, and while you're doing that, I'll jump in and, and talk. Okay. I don't know if I said or not, but use the chat function on the bottom of your screen if you have any questions that you'd like to ask me to ask Wade later. Um, it's too hard to go mute on mute on, on through that, so we're gonna stay muted, and thank you for doing that throughout. Um, but uh, just make sure you, uh, if you have any questions about anything, we'll get to them. We'll make sure Wade answers them later. Great, sorry about that. My uh, slides were not, uh, changing. It looks like I've got them now. So let me try this again. Sorry about that, folks. With you, here we go. Okay, cross your fingers, it works this time. Okay, looks good. Sorry about that, you guys. Anyway, my name is Wade Menard. I am the Business Development Manager for British Columbia. My pleasure to be here today, and I'm going to start by talking to you about dining. We know that food is such a large aspect of any cruise vacation, and at Princess, we just keep getting better and better with our food quality on board our ships. So when we say our food is designed for fresh, we truly mean it. Breads are baked every 24 seven, uh, every 15 minutes, every 24 seven. Saucers are made from scratch using the finest ingredients, steaks aged and hand cut on board and homemade ice cream is made every single day. Our cuisine on board the ship is our heart and soul of our product. And we know you'll experience that and love it with every single bite. Now, we also want to keep you entertained during the evening hours when you're on board ships with us. We have some amazing Broadway production shows, uh, three big ones from our Broadway producer, Stephen Schwartz, who came to us, of course, from such great shows as Pippin, Godspell, and most recently, Wicked. Uh, but we do have a whole host of new shows lined up for your entertainment. The great thing about the pandemic is when we shut down for a year and a half, that gave us the opportunity to really revamp everything, invent a lot of new entertainment for you. So you're going to still be experiencing the same great brand of Princess, but you're going to notice some really great unique changes uh, that we've come about during uh, the pandemic. So lots more entertainment options for you. Of course, we still have all the traditional stuff that you really love so much, such as our festivals of the world. This is so popular. Depending on where you are sailing in the world with us, you'll experience one of these different festivals. Uh, it could be the uh, Rio Carnival, Oktoberfest, Mardi Gras, Klondike Festival, if you're sailing to Alaska with us. Uh, all of the, so many different uh, varieties of the world of, of uh, the festivals that we have, including, of course, the King Kamea in Hawaii, which is so popular. But we've also got great onboard activities such as cooking classes, um, special interest classes, like maybe learning how to play uh, the steel drums. Uh, we can also have great encounters with celebrities, past uh, movie stars. Maybe we've got some past politicians to give you great insight lectures on board our ships. And of course, the spas and the casinos and all that other great stuff that you're used to from pretty much every cruise brand. So lots to see and do. We guarantee you'll never be bored when sailing on Princess. And also happy to say that Princess is the only cruise line that actually prioritizes rejuvenation and revitalization. Uh, North Americans take less vacation days than anyone else on the planet, and so it's really our priority to make sure that while you're enjoying this great big world of ours, that you actually get to recharge your batteries. So we like to say that sailing with Princess is like hitting the reset button. It means letting go of your work week and reconnecting with yourself and the ones you love. Only Princess Cruises really prioritizes in rejuvenating and re revitalizing uh, with your experience, which is just rejuvenating at sea. We strip away the stresses of the world and we offer you warm and welcoming service. 
Now we are really great for families. We're seeing larger groups gather on board our ships, whether it's friends or family, uh, but definitely post pandemic, we're seeing a lot of uh, groups and family get together. So we've invented lots of new uh, avenues to keep our younger cruisers entertained. They are all Captain Circle members as well and get to earn their loyalty rewards with us. Uh, but we have so many different unique family gathering kinds of things. We have our, our children's programs, the Camp Discovery powered by Discovery Network. And there's three different age groups that can go to that from the little guys, the intermediate, and of course our teens, uh, great activities, all the latest technology, video games, arts and crafts. We like to specialize in teaching and making them learn while they're having fun. We also have family activities like movie nights. Uh, we also have stargazing at sea. We also have some great uh, family fun fairs in our piazza where you can uh, feature our princess mascots. You can get your face painted, have balloon animals, magicians and entertainers, all kinds of great things, as well as family style uh, accommodations from our family suites that sleep up to eight people, uh, or we have many, many adjoining cabins now where we can connect through an actual door in the cabin uh, instead of being across the hall or just connecting on balconies. So lots of good opportunities to get together with your family and your friends. The real difference between Princess Cruises and all the other great cruise brands that are out there is we are the only cruise line that immerses you in the destination the minute you board the ship. That's our big thing. Of course, we do create handcrafted experiences. Our itineraries are so very important to our brand. We don't simply put a, a map of the world up on the, on the wall and throw darts at it as to where we're going to go. We actually put some serious consideration into it. Very happy to tell you that there's a lady at Princess named Crystal Morgan. She used to be a shore excursion manager on the ships with us many years ago, uh, and she has traveled to nearly every place on the planet. And it is her sole responsibility to put our itineraries together. And what she does is really handcraft those experiences to give you a balance of port days as well as sea days so that you can enjoy our ship and also just recharge your batteries a little bit before you have the next day's adventure. Now, these itineraries are put together so that you might be able to enjoy some really exciting things in the world that you might not even know about if you were to go on a princess cruise. For example, we have several festival cruises in Japan, which we'll talk about later. Uh, and many of those festivals, North Americans don't even know they exist, let alone have the opportunity to experience them. So that's a little bit about those handcrafted experiences. Uh, on board, of course, we will immerse you through our local cuisine, uh, local entertainers that we fly on board to keep you entertained arts and crafts such as maybe, maybe making flower lays, learning how to do a hula dance, playing those steel drums. All of this is designed to immerse you in that destination the minute you board. But the biggest thing I can say that separates us from any cruise brand out there is our technology that we have on board, which of course is Ocean Medallion Class. Now, Medallion Class is unique to us. It is such amazing technology that in 2020, in the middle of a pandemic, we were still able to win the award from Cruise Portholes Magazine, uh, enabling us to have the best technology at sea. So we have all these great experiences that come about from our Medallion product. So it's going to start with a truly touchless embarkation. We are thrilled about this. Uh, we are in negotiations with the Canadian government that hopefully very soon we will be able to mail the medallion across the border. Right now, you still have to pick it up at the pier, but that is the only thing a Canadian has to touch at the pier. Uh, all of your passport information, your security photo, all of that is uploaded in advance. Uh, and you literally just pick up your medallion, or if you already have it, you just have it in your pocket around your neck, and you walk across a, a floor mat that actually reads your medallion and lets our staff know that you are what we call ocean ready. We've got your pictures, we've got your passports, and you literally just walk on board the ship. We will be staggering embarkations and ask you to abide by that, so that if we ask you to, to arrive at two o'clock, um, we want you to arrive at two o'clock, very simply so that we don't have huge mass gatherings in the cruise terminals waiting to board the ship at the same time. Now, when you get on the ship, you're going to find great features like a keyless entry system into your stateroom. The medallion actually replaces your key card, the cruise card, and all you have to do is have it around your neck, your wrist, in a pocket, in your purse, whatever it might be, and the technology really unfolds around you. So as you get close to your door, the little computer pad uh, next to your door will welcome you by name, uh, and it will open the door for you so that you can uh, have your hands full of donuts like this lady and still be able to get into your cabin. As well, a great feature is wayfinding. So as you know, the ships today are just getting bigger and bigger, and it's very easy to get lost. We have portals spread out throughout the ship 
and you will be able to simply just make a request of what you're looking for. And there will be an electronic guide show you exactly how to get there, whether it's the nearest restroom or maybe a specialty dining venue or maybe even finding your cabin. All of that is available. Also with Ocean Medallion, we will no longer be having crew safety muster drills. Uh, we always thought that was kind of a buzzkill that we get you on board, get you a drink, get you so excited about sailing, and then we bring you down with a muster drill. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still very important that you are up to date with our safety requirements and that you know where to go in the event of emergency. But now you will simply watch the uh, a safety video on your stateroom television. The Ocean Medallion will acknowledge the fact that you have watched it. And then we ask that within 12 hours, you simply walk through your muster station. Once you do that, the GPS tracking device in the Ocean Medallion will tell our crew members that, yep, you know where to go in an emergency and you are set to sail. When you're also on board the ship and you're traveling with other guests, whether it's your children or family and friends, you can easily find them with a touch of a button on your cell phone, your personal device, the televisions in your stateroom, any of the portals throughout our ships. Or if you're not interested in having technology or carrying technology with you, all you have to do is ask one of our friendly crew member who will act as your personal device to give you all of this information. But very easy to find all of your people on board the ship. We also have this great feature called Journey View. Now, if you've traveled with us in the past, you're familiar with Princess Patter. This was a daily newsletter that was printed and put in your stateroom. So hour by hour, day by day, you could plan your cruise and see all of the activities. Now, thanks to Ocean Medallion, you can do this months before you even set sail. All the information will be loaded into the computer for you to have a look at. And you simply swipe left, swipe left and right to go from day to day and up and down to see the hours so you can see exactly what's going on. But don't worry, if you do want a regular princess pattern, just tell your cabin steward and we will continue to print it and put it in your cabin for you. Also, in, to enable this great new technology, we had to develop the fastest Wi-Fi at sea, and it truly is the fastest thing. It's uh, as fast as your home or your office. Uh, through this, you can stream Netflix or movie channels. Uh, you can even use FaceTime to talk to your friends and family back home. Uh, there's no buffering, no hesitations. Uh, it is really, really the fastest internet, and it's such a pleasure to use uh, versus old, old style uh, internet on cruise ships, which was very frustrating and very time consuming. This is exactly like you're used to it at home. On board as well, you can gamble through our uh, casino app, or if you want uh, to entertain your younger family members, we have games for all ages that can be played through the app, uh, as well as you can connect to our big screen movies under the stars and play games with others uh, to try and win prizes on board by the pool. Lots of fun. My favorite one though, of course, is called Ocean Now. And this simply means we will deliver whatever you need, wherever you need it, whenever you need it. So imagine the possibilities of this one. If you're laying by the pool and you find that you're burning and you need some sunscreen, all you need to do is touch the app on your phone or again, ask one of our crew members and someone from our shops at Princess will deliver that to you immediately. As well, think about this one, getting all packed up for lunch. Maybe you're laying by the pool, uh, everybody's having a great time, but you're hungry. Now you have to get dressed, wipe off all the sunscreen, get dressed, pack up all your belongings and head into our buffet or restaurants for lunch. No longer do you have to do that. You can simply order whatever you want from the app and it will be delivered to you wherever you are. Now there is a GPS tracking device in that medallion that lets us know where you are. So we know exactly where you are to bring you all of this. Now this doesn't mean just food or sunscreen. It's absolutely anything that you need whenever you need it. You can order drinks on your balcony. Um, you can even order anything from our main dining room menu that will be delivered to you where, wherever you are, whether it's your again, your balcony or sitting by the pool, wherever you might be, it's all about your vacation and what you want to do. And Ocean Medallion really helps that come true for you. Now, another new part of this great technology is called Dine My Way. So this is giving you the ability to select your dining times for main dining rooms and also specialty restaurants. You can change reservations as needed, even on board, it's that flexible. So say you're laying by the pool, you have a dinner reservation at seven and it's about 6.30 and you think, oh, I'm just enjoying this afternoon sun so much. I don't want to go get changed and go for dinner. With the simple touch of your phone or again, any of our crew members, you can just have that change to whatever time you want to go to. 
You can easily make reservations that include every member of your travel partner, a party. Uh, if you're traveling with other people, all you need to do is get their booking number and you can make reservations for all, all the people that you wanna dine with. You can even give us your dietary preferences. Say you're allergic to shellfish or peanuts, just let us know and none of that food will ever come near you. You can request the same table with the same wait staff every night for your entire journey of your cruise or if you prefer, you can just make reservations day by day at different times in different restaurants. So it's really, really user friendly. You can block space in our specialty dining venues, any of our uh, restaurants. It's really just enhancing the way that you have uh, dinner on board the ship. No more lining up to get in the dining room and also no lining up to see the maitre d' on the first day of the ship to make sure you got the table that you were looking for. So great enhancements with that product there. And we're very thrilled to tell you that all 15 ships in our fleet will be medallion class when we return to service. Uh, again, great thing that happened while we were uh, uh, out of business for that year and a half was we renovated all of the ships and we put medallion class technology on each and every one of them. So that's a very brief overview of Princess Cruises as a brand and what we can offer you. Uh, the great consultants at Expedia Cruises are more than familiar with Princess Cruises. And uh, if you need more in-depth information on the brand, they'll be happy to share that with you. For now, let's talk about Princess Cruises and us being the destination leader and get into some of these great itineraries that we have for you for this year's three-day sale. Now, we are called the destination leader, and it's not because we are the biggest or, or uh, the largest cruise line in the world. We serve 100 countries. We have over 170 unique itineraries for you to choose from, and we service over 380 ports of call. Now, we're certainly not the largest cruise line on the planet, but we feel what we do is the best, and that's because of those handcrafted itineraries, our handcrafted experiences on shore and on our ships, as well as the immersing you in the destination, all that really puts together to make us the destination leader. We also have amazing relationships with uh, our land suppliers, the people that make the shore excursions for you, uh, the people that host those tours, the people that move your luggage, all of that we've been working with them for 53 years and we've got great relationships with them uh, and we can deliver that great product onto you. Now, the first destination I wanna show is our very closest to home and this is Alaska. Princess Cruises is number one in Alaska. We have been for the last 16 years in a row, voted by Travel Weekly News Magazine, as well as 19 years in a row, uh, voted this by our loyal travel advisors, which means that when somebody comes in and says they want to go to Alaska, all the travel advisors recommend Princess First because we have such a great reputation in Alaska. Now, there are three unique ways for you to see Alaska with Princess. The first would be a round trip cruise sailing out of Seattle or Vancouver. We also have one way voyages called the Voyage of the Glaciers, which let you see a little bit more, gives you two glacier viewing opportunities and takes you a lot further into Alaska. Then the very best way to see Alaska is a cruise tour, which of course is a cruise, a train into the heart of Alaska, and then stays at our beautiful owned and operated Princess Wilderness Lodges. So let's look at all three of those opportunities for Alaska. The first that we say the best way to go is the Voyage of the Glaciers itineraries. Now these are seven days between Vancouver and Whittier, the port just outside Anchorage, or you can go southbound from Whittier down to Vancouver. These are a great opportunity because they do give you two glacier viewing opportunities. Glacier Bay National Park is available on every one of these itineraries, as well as either Hubbard Glacier or College Fjord. Now I wanted to show you on your screen here, the blue itinerary line that you see here, even though it shows out of Seattle, that is the same uh, itinerary that you get out of Vancouver, only Vancouver would really go on the inside passage here on the red mark. Uh, but it can only go as far as Skagway in seven days before we have to return and get back to Vancouver or Seattle. The Voyage of the Glaciers is the red line, and you can see it takes you all the way up, gives you 400 nautical miles further across the Gulf of Alaska. Uh, you'll see Hubbard Glacier here, as well as College Fjord, which is made up of uh, eight glaciers, uh, and you'll be able to go into Whittier. So great viewing there. Now, I just want to show you a couple of itineraries. Uh, these are for 2022, and they're similar itineraries for 2023. I don't have pictures of those itineraries in this presentation, simply because Alaska uh, is not even on sale yet for 2023. It goes on sale in just a few short days. Uh, so, uh, but the people at Expedia will have all that for you. But what I'm so thrilled to see is we've got more round trips out of Vancouver, and these itineraries are absolutely spectacular. Sorry, you see that first 10-day one there? 
uh, not repeating the same port twice. Uh, some really exciting ones like this 12 day one we're showcasing tonight. Uh, Vancouver, you're going to uh, go up into the Inside Passage. You're going to see Juno, Skagway, Icy Strait Point, which is an absolutely beautiful little area. Uh, you can go on a catamaran ride right up to close and personal to the glaciers. You're going to see Hubbard Glacier on this itinerary and Glacier Bay National Park. You'll see Ketchikan, beautiful little Russian town of Sitka, uh, before returning to Canadian waters, Prince Rupert and Victoria before home. So round trip itineraries, no airfare involved if you live in the Vancouver area. Uh, I'm just happy to see those back for 2022 and 23 sailing round trip out of Vancouver. But the best way, in our opinion, to see Alaska is on one of our beautiful cruise tours. Now, this, of course, is a seven-day cruise, either northbound or southbound to Whittier, combined with a 500-mile train journey into the heart of Alaska, and then stays at one of our five lodges, or all five of our lodges. We have uh, Fairbanks, uh, we have Denali, uh, Wilderness Lodge Denali was built uh, so you can access Denali National Park. It's only a kilometer away. This is where you're going to take those great tours to see all the animals um, and uh, the National Park. Uh, as well, we have McKinley Wilderness Lodge, which was built perfectly to see views of the mountain. And then our two smaller lodges, which are famous for Alaskan salmon fishing. That, of course, is Copper River and Kenai Peninsula. So great opportunities if you do want to see the heart of Alaska. Uh, we do have direct to the Wilderness Rail Service, which no other cruise brand does. Uh, that means we take you from our ship. Uh, we transport your luggage. All you have to do is walk across the sidewalk, board our beautiful double-decker dome rail cars, and you're in Denali that very same day. Now, my cruise tour that I want to showcase for you today is our Best of Alaska Ultimate Princess uh, Alaska Cruise Tour. This is new to us. There are I'm gonna say there's probably 50 plus different cruise tours that you can take. The reason I wanna showcase this one is cause it's the best of the best. Through this, we have uh, two nights at each and every one of those lodges I talked about, uh, plus a beautiful seven day cruise giving you a 17 night vacation. It's escorted by Princess, all the meals are included. Your Tundra Wilderness Tour is included, the Steamboat River Cruise uh, in, uh, uh, Sorry, I just lost my train of thought there. Where is the steam wheeler up in Fairbanks? Sorry, uh, you'll also get the gold dredge tour. Uh, so it's just a great opportunity. Now, people always ask me about Alaska, when is the best time to go? And that all depends on what you wanna see and what you wanna do. If you really wanna see wildlife, go early in the season, May and June. Uh, after that, it gets too warm and the animals tend to just stay in the forest where it's uh, sheltered and a little bit cooler. Um, in May, you may have opportunity to see way more ice floating in the uh, ocean beside the ship, simply because it hasn't melted yet, and you have the opportunity for that. May and September are the lowest prices. Uh, you're going to see the land of the midnight sun in June and July, and uh, you may see the, the northern lights in September, and of course, fishing is the best in June, July. So hopefully that gives you some guidance on when you wanna go. It's just a beautiful place. If you've never been, put that on your bucket list because it truly is a special place to go. Now going somewhere a little bit warmer, let's talk about the Caribbean. This is just a wonderful place in the world. Uh, we have year round sailings here from Fort Lauderdale. We take you to top rated beaches, amazing snorkeling. We offer great water sports and even some mining history and colorful island culture available for you. So here is a map of the Caribbean. Of course, this looks pretty stark and bare at the moment. And these are all the great ports of call that we service. Of course, the red is the Eastern, the purple is Western Caribbean, and the green is Southern Caribbean. Just so you know the differences between uh, the three different uh, regions that we service in there. Uh, the Eastern is really popular, uh, just mainly for the great beaches, the wonderful duty-free shopping. Um, you'll stay here for a full day at Princess Keys. This is our owned and operated uh, private island in the Bahamas. We take a great barbecue lunch off the ship and prepare that for you uh, on the beach. Uh, it's all complimentary for you. You can use your beverage package on the island as well, so you don't have to pay for drinks. Uh, and it's just really a great way to enjoy your day. From there, we can take you down into these great ports of call that you see here. The itinerary on your screen is our most popular Eastern Caribbean going into St. Martin and St. Thomas. But again, there's several to choose from in Eastern Caribbean. Again, it's famous for the beaches. This is my favorite in this area. This is Megan's Beach. Uh, I'm sorry, Megan's Bay, just outside of St. Thomas. Uh, beautiful crystal clear waters and talcum powder sand. 
a great, great afternoon in that location of the world. If you're interested in the Western Caribbean, these itineraries are probably more so for people that want to experience some Mexican culture. Uh, as you can see on your screen, this is our most popular Western Caribbean. And through Cozumel, the great port there, you are able to go see the ancient ruins of Tulum. Uh, that is very, very popular for our clients. Of course, we take you there on shore excursions. You can see all those ruins, enjoy the beautiful sunshine, taste some local cuisine, uh, and return to the ship. Now, the Southern Caribbean, this is known as the Spice Islands. This is down south where you can get some great uh, fresh grape man, uh, great man. Uh, you can get some great nutmeg, uh, cinnamon, all locally grown down there and very inexpensive to buy through the Spice Islands here. Uh, you can even see uh, some great UNESCO World Heritage sites such as the beautiful city of Curacao, uh, beautiful place to go and of course get their liqueur that's made out of uh, oranges. Farther south than the Caribbean, we do offer the Panama Canal. Very happy to say we are number one down here as well. We take more people to the Panama than any other cruise line. And this itinerary is really all about seeing the engineering feat of the historic or the modern locks. We do go through both of them, so the choice is yours. I do hear from people that they do prefer the older locks, the historic locks versus the new ones. They are side by side, so they're pretty much the same view-wise. It's just in the old locks, you have the mules uh, that are like locomotive engines that attach very taut cables to the ship. They don't actually pull the ship through the canal, but they do keep it perfectly centered so it doesn't scratch off the sides. Uh, and in the new locks, that's all done computerly. So it's just up to you which ones you'd like to see. We have two basic itineraries through the canal. The first is really a Caribbean cruise that is 10 days round trip from the beautiful city of Fort Lauderdale. It takes you into the heart of the Caribbean and then into the first set of locks and the ship will anchor in Gatun Lake for the day. Here you have the opportunity to just stay on the ship and enjoy uh, the jungle scenery uh, and enjoy the ship. Or you can get off and do a, a whole host of different shore excursions, including, of course, going to see the uh, Umbera indigenous tribe, learn how they live in their jungle lifestyle with no cell phones or technology. Uh, you can go on a smaller craft all the way through the canal, experience Panama City, Limon, Costa Rica, so much in this area. So you'll enjoy a full day there before going back into the Caribbean and back to Fort Lauderdale. Now, our ocean to ocean uh, itineraries, this is a full day sailing through the canal. You'll start in Fort Lauderdale or Los Angeles and go through those two great cities. Uh, the, tr the transit through the canal is very long. It starts at about five in the morning and you won't be out till about six o'clock in the evening. So you have plenty of time to go through the various sets of locks and uh, really enjoy that technology. I also have to say, if you go on one of our Panama Canal cruises, please don't uh, forget to go to our exclusive shore excursion. This is only offered by Princess, and it is the Sloth Sanctuary in Limon, Costa Rica. Absolutely amazing few hours that you get to spend with these remarkably slow creatures, but they are so lovely and so friendly to be with for an afternoon. So lots of fun there. And before I stop talking about Panama, I want to talk to you about this one. This is a brand new itinerary that's just launching in time for the three-day sale. Uh, thanks to an itinerary change that we've done, we are now repositioning the Caribbean Princess on March 19th of 2022, uh, sailing 19 days from Fort Lauderdale all the way up to Vancouver. Vancouver. And if uh, you've ever sailed into your home city, uh, there is something so unique and so very, very special about arriving home in your home city versus taking a you know 10 hour flight with multiple connections uh, to get home. Sorry, I thought I deleted that slide, but I guess it came back on me when we rebooted the system there. Uh, next up on our itinerary list is Canada and New England. This destination is all about the changing of the leaves. The best time to go on these itineraries is in the late fall, between late September, October. Uh, you actually have to have a full frost in order for the leaves to really change and give you that terrific color. So that's the time period you really wanna go. Although we do start service in August, if you're interested in just uh, uh, you know, seeing the area and the summer is warmer, definitely, you'll be able to experience all the great seafood of this area, as well as learn about the history on the US side, as well as the Canadian side. Uh, we are gonna take you to great points of interest such as Acadia National Park, an absolutely beautiful part of the world. And you can sail here on two different itineraries, seven days round trip from New York City, or 10 days in between Quebec City and New York. 
Uh, all of those itineraries do give you a overnight in Quebec City to really experience that French Canadian culture. And we do even have a couple of itineraries that are 13 days and 14 days long that will sail between Quebec City and Fort Lauderdale. Now, I want to showcase this itinerary for you as well, because it is very special. This offers, operates only once a year, and it's there featured on August 15th, 2022, and August 14th of 2023. This sails round trip from New York and does include three ports of call in Greenland, if you're interested in that, as many people are. These ones are terrific itineraries, and they do sell out quickly because we only operate once a year here. So keep that in mind if that is something of interest to you. Something very, very popular with West Coasters is, of course, uh, the Hawaiian Islands. And Princess is the only cruise line with a full season round trip from the mainland. We do offer service uh, to these great islands from Vancouver, from San Francisco, and Los Angeles. They are 15 days round trip, and they do give you the uh, stops at the best, most popular islands, such, of course, Honolulu, where we give you a late night departure. We take you to Maui, Kauai, and, of course, the big island of Hawaii. Also, we have a great itinerary planned for you on our beautiful refurbished Crown Princess sailing on October 18th, 2022. This, of course, is 15 days round trip from Vancouver, so no airfare required for locals living in our neighborhood. And of course, for those wonderful sea days, we're going to immerse you in the Hawaiian culture uh, through our program called the Aloha Spirit. Here you will have uh, several deep sea days uh, to enjoy this Hawaiian culture. Uh, we start this enrichment program about 10 years ago, and it offers an array of Hawaiian themed activities, such as weaving flower lays, learning to play ukuleles. We bring local entertainers from the islands on board our ships uh, to give you authentic performances. We have that King Kamehameha Festival that I talked about earlier, and you can even learn how to tie a sarong, or indulge in tantalizing island cuisine like Kalua duck and roasted pineapple butter rum. So Hawaii is definitely a big destination for us on the West Coast and lots of choices for you there. Now, Mexico, very near and dear to our hearts at Princess Cruises. This is where we started it all in 1965 using a chartered ferry boat. Uh, so we've certainly come a long way since then, but you're pretty much guaranteed sunny weather. It very rarely rains down in Mexico. You'll enjoy beautiful cuisines, uh, maybe taste amazing different varieties of tequila. They make so many different types down there. You'll learn all about this friendly, rich culture and uh, the beautiful people down there that are just so friendly and grateful to have you come into their city. We offer a seven day round trip from Los Angeles, 10 days from Los Angeles doing the California uh, Baja Peninsula and Sea of Cortez, and of course 10 days round trip from San Francisco as well. Now, because we are the West Coast uh, Cruise Line, our offices are in Los Angeles, California. We do offer more of the West Coast than any other cruise line. And we do have some great California cruises lined up for you, uh, including some beautiful wine country cruises where you can explore beautiful wine countries in the California uh, area, such as Santa Barbara, Napa Valley. Uh, we'll even take you for some great microbrewery tasting in Astoria. Uh, but beautiful cruises and again close to home. And there is one round trip from Vancouver if you don't want any airfare. Again, on our beautiful Crown Princess. This one is 10 days round trip from Vancouver, September 22nd. And again, because they're only one sailing, they do fill up really quickly. Now let's talk about Europe because this is so popular with our guests and of course one of the best sellers at our three-day sale. Uh, Europe is very, very popular with people for a number of reasons, depending on which destination you go to. But we do have so many ports of call there and more itineraries that you could go every single year and not be faced with doing the same city twice. It's really exciting when you look at Europe. So on your screen right now are the places you can sail from. This is important because you can get the great people at Expedia Cruises to book you a pre or post cruise vacation to explore these cities a little bit more before or after your cruise. We sail from Copenhagen, Berlin, London, Paris, Barcelona, Rome, and of course, Athens. So with those few departure ports, here are all the wonderful cities in Europe that you can explore with Princess. We really do have Europe covered. And if, if, you, know, if you wanna go there, we can take you. So let's look a little bit more at each of these geographical locations or areas of Europe that people are so fascinated by. The first, of course, is the Mediterranean. This is the most popular when it comes to Europe. Um, we have so much to see and do here. This would include you know, great places like France, Italy, Greece, Croatia, Monte Carlo, even Israel. So there's lots of different itineraries. 
I can't ever go through them all in one webinar. It would just be too long of a journey for you. Uh, but the great people at Expedia have all of our itineraries waiting for you uh, for the three-day sale. If you're interested in Europe, they can email all of those great itineraries to you. What I really love about Princess, again, is those handcrafted experiences. Um, we do have 10, 11, 12, 13 day cruises in the Mediterranean, but we also have a whole season of seven day voyages. And I know that sounds really strange to you because who from Canada is gonna to go to Europe for seven days? But the reason we built these seven day voyages is because you can get them booked back to back, meaning you can sail seven days from Barcelona to Rome, then you can add another seven days and go from Rome to Athens, and then you can add another seven days and go from Athens uh, back to Barcelona to make a great 21 day cruise. Here's an example of one of the seven day cruises here from Rome to Athens. Uh, this is gonna give you those great, great cities uh, that you can experience so much of the world from, of course, Naples, you can experience um, Pompeii and also the Amalfi coastline, Cinco Terra. Uh, you're gonna go down into Greece, Mykonos, Pusadasi again, a great opportunity to go in to see Ephesus and the ruins there. Uh, Istanbul, the Blue Mosque, beautiful area. Uh, before going into Athens. So that's one example. Um, here's an example of pairing all three of them together to create that 21 day best of the Mediterranean sailing. Absolutely amazing itinerary there. All of those great bucket list cities that you probably want to see, we can take them, take you to all of them on one itinerary. Now, if you look uh, at the bottom of your screen, well, sort of middle of your screen here, sorry, it says 14-day sailings that include late night in Jerusalem, Galilee, and Nazareth. I really want to bring that to your attention, A, because we only sail here twice a year, and those itineraries are in late October and November, and we will actually take you for two full days um, into the Holy Lands. So uh, the best part about this is we have a great overnight program, a short excursion that is two full days long. You'll get off the, the ship with us in Jerusalem. Uh, we'll escort you to all of those wonderful holy sites. You'll be able to see where Jesus was baptized on the Jordan River. Uh, so many historic ruins you'll see um, and in historical sites. Uh, and then two days later, we will bring you back on board the ship in the Port of Galilee. But you'll be able to see Bethlehem all of these great places in the world that Princess can bring you to. You're escorted by Princess. You'll stay in Princess quality hotels. The foods are included or the meals are included. I'm sorry, it sounds a little bit better in English. Um, and it's just a wonderful experience. And I'm saying this because I wanna go here so bad. I was booked to go this November. And of course it was canceled because of uh, COVID, but I'm already booked for 2022. So join me on that one. I'm sure that's gonna be fantastic. Now, my favorite itinerary in the world, everybody asks me this every year, is Scandinavia and Russia. This one's all about the Viking history, the opulent palaces and jewels. And of course, the crown jewel in this itinerary is St. Petersburg. Now we have seven to 14 day sailings. You can either go round trip from Great City of London or from Copenhagen, and we'll give you that overnight in St. Petersburg. If you do our shore excursions, which I highly recommend, we will pay for your Russian visa. Um, and I really do recommend that excursion uh, simply because there's so much to see and do in St. Petersburg. It is an amazing city. And uh, with Princess, we will be able to show you all of it in a two day fabulous shore excursion that is called uh, the Ultimate St. Petersburg. Now, don't get me wrong, you will be absolutely exhausted by the time this shore excursion is over. In fact, it's 23 hours long. You will board uh, uh, the tour at 7 a.m. each morning and get back to the ship approximately six o'clock each night. Uh, but you could never see all of this and pack all of it in if you were on your own. We take you into the Hermitage an hour and a half before it opens to the public. And you'll really appreciate that when you get out and see the thousands of people lined up to get in, as well as it gets later in the afternoon uh, it gets very hot in the Hermitage. There is no air conditioning in these old palaces, uh, and you'll really appreciate being there early morning before it opens to the public. As well, we take you to the front of the line in many uh, events such as Peterhof Palace because we want you to spend your vacation seeing things and building memories versus standing in line to get them get into these venues. So terrific opportunity with that two day short excursion. We're gonna take you to the Hermitage, which was their winter palace. We'll take you to Peter the Great's summer palace, which was Peterhof Palace. It was built of course, to rival the French King, Louis XIV, who had just built Versailles. Uh, you'll have an opulent tour of the interior of this palace. 
And for many people, uh, they really enjoy the grounds and the fountains outside. The grounds are massive. Uh, you can walk all day through the, through the beautiful uh, gardens and courtyards, experience the smaller palaces on, on the grounds, as well as all these beautiful gilded fountains. Now, part of the mystery and the intrigue about these fountains is, of course, there is no electricity, electricity operating them. There is a lake high up in uh, the hills above Peterhof Palace, and all the water is brought down through an intricate piping system. And of course, uh, that makes the, the water come out with gravity through the, the small jets at the end of the pipes to create these beautiful, beautiful fountains. But definitely must be on your bucket list uh, to see these things. They are so fantastic. Another of my favorites in this part of the world, <coughs> excuse me, of course, is Catherine's Palace. Catherine was, of course, the richest woman in the world. She wasn't even Russian, she was actually German, and she married into the Russian royal family and then murdered her husband to take power. Now, she is just such a fascinating woman simply because she was so wealthy. She used to buy everything she had with a loose cuts diamonds that she kept in a black velvet pouch in her gown. When she died, there were 10,000 dresses found in her closet because she never wore the same dress twice. Uh, part of her palace that's so intriguing, of course, it was made uh, for entertaining in the summer, throwing lavish balls, as you can see in the ballroom on the left-hand side of your screen. And of course, the right-hand side is that beautiful amber room. The floor, the ceiling, the, the wall panelings, the picture frames, absolutely everything is made out of amber. Now, something that's really interesting about this palace is that it was bombed and burned to the ground in World War II, and thankfully, the Russian government has committed to restoring it to its former glory. So it's still not completely done, but you can still see many of these beautiful uh, rooms and see what life was like when you were rich and fabulous in the time of Catherine the Great. I just want to show you this itinerary because I think this one is very, very special, one of a kind. 30 days sailing round trip from London on June 20, oh, sorry, there's two of them, June 29th or August 28th on our Island Princess. That is now the smallest ship in our fleet. Uh, and so it sells out quickly. You're gonna see all of Scandinavia and Russia as well as go into Iceland and see all the great cities there as well. So beautiful itinerary there. We also have a great one that's uh, shown here again on uh, the Sky Princess, brand new ship. This one takes you to Iceland, Norway, and of course, all through uh, Scandinavia, Russia, and those beautiful Baltic state cities. Now, another great place, uh, I just booked this today, actually, for my family. <laughs> We're going on this again for the second time. Uh, the British Isles, absolutely a fascinating part of the world. And I'll be very honest with you, the very first time I uh, went on this itinerary, I wasn't thrilled about it. It wasn't definitely in my bucket list. I didn't really want to go. And I came out of this itinerary going, wow, why did I wait so long? That was spectacular. Now we sail round trip from London on this great itinerary, eight to 14 days, the choice is yours. Uh, sailing around the British Isles is just fantastic. You'll have the opportunity, of course, to see Paris and the beaches of Normandy, uh, just outside of the port city in Paris, which is called the Havre, is an amazing 13th century fishing village. Uh, you can go explore that. It's absolutely beautiful. You're going to be able to see Edinburgh, one of the most spectacular cities in Scotland. Uh, reminds me of Harry Potter. So many of the uh, private schools look like the castles from Harry Potter. Uh, you'll be able to see the Royal Yacht Britannia here. Uh, if you go in August, you'll be able to do a short excursion to the military tattoo, of course, held at uh, Edinburgh Castle. From there, you can walk down the Royal Nile to one of Queen Elizabeth's official residence, which is Holyrood Palace. You'll be able to enjoy Loch Ness and Inverness, the great city of Glasgow. The, the booking that I have has an overnight there, so you can really explore that city. Get out to one of the pubs at nighttime, enjoy some fish and chips, and of course the wonderful city of Belfast. Absolutely spectacular. The people are so friendly. There is so much culture to see and, and do here. Um, also learn about their turbulent past as we're all familiar with. Uh, the Titanic Museum is here built on the original uh, the shipyard where the Titanic was built. It's four stories tall uh, and you'll be able to experience every aspect of the Titanic. Uh, just so much. You'll see Cork, Guernsey, uh, it's, it's just a fantastic itinerary. So hopefully you'll, you'll be uh, able to experience that at some point in your cruising career with us. And now on to the last part of Europe, which I wanted to showcase today. And this of course is what we call the calm side of Europe. Most people don't even think about this. They're very tuned into Scandinavia, British Isles or the Mediterranean. Norwegian fjords is breathtaking. 
If you've ever had the opportunity to sail through Australia, New Zealand, uh, and in New Zealand, the Fiordlands National Park where The Hobbit was filmed, that is known as some of the best scenic cruising in the world. And uh, the Norwegian fjords are even more beautiful. It's absolutely spectacular. And that's why we say it's the calmer side of Europe. Uh, there's not as much hustle and bustle. You'll just really be, oh, sorry, I went too fast there. Go back, go back. <laughs> You'll be able to experience the calm waters, uh, some of these great, uh, great cities in uh, the area, Iceland, um, and even a couple of really great ones. If you can see on your screen this dotted line close to the top, that is the Arctic Circle. And late in the summer, after October 7th, we will take you up here uh, on very unique cruises. Uh, some of them are called the Land of the Midnight Sun. Uh, we'll take you so far north that it will never get dark your entire journey. You'll be able to experience that. And also there is one specific sailing October 7th on the Island Princess whose sole purpose is to search out the Northern Lights. Now we can't guarantee you're going to see them, but um, every year when we've done this itinerary, our guests are treated with spectacular views of the Northern Lights all the way up north in Spitsbergen and also great viewing opportunities from Tromso. So wonderful, wonderful there. Now, moving down into our exotics, uh, we do sail to a great number of destinations down here. Our number one bestseller in the last year or two has been Australia, New Zealand. We have six ships home ported here. You can sail from Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, or even Auckland. Uh, we also do an uh, intriguing array of island adventures in the South Pacific, including Fiji, Papua New Guinea, Vanuatu, and New Caledonia. Plus, there are wonderful crossings that'll take you into Hawaii, Tahiti, uh, and you can even go into Asia from Australia, New Zealand. So those are really fun itineraries. But again, it's our number one destination sells out very, very quickly. So please don't hesitate if that is something that you're interested in. Act on that very, very quickly. So I want to showcase now four very unique itineraries. They are very popular every day at the uh, every year, sorry, at the three-day sail. And these, of course, are sailings that are going to Auckland and Sydney out of Vancouver. You have that opportunity September 20th, 2022, or on the Grand Princess September 26th of 2022. But my suggestion to you would be to fly to Australia, do some fabulous touring down in the South Pacific, and then sail with us from Sydney or Auckland back into Vancouver on the majestic April 4th or the Grand a few days before that on March 31st. And again, that's simply my preference because it's so sweet landing in your home city and getting a cab home instead of a 20 hour flight. So think about those, those are spectacular itineraries and those always do sell out rather quickly. When it comes to Japan, this is a terrific seller for us. We believe this is because people have a fear of the language barrier to go travel on land by themselves. Uh, and also Japan is very, very expensive for restaurants and hotel accommodation. So great way to see it with us. We have 22 ports of call around the island nation, including Busan, South Korea, as well as Taipei, Taiwan. And we have a whole lineup of festival cruises. Now, I really want you to pay attention to this if you're interested in Japan. When you're looking at the reference flyer, you'll see festival cruises. Make sure you take advantage of that because we will take you to these festivals that we built into the itineraries. We have late nights built here so you can see these great festivals, still get back to the ship. Um, but there's anything from going to the Japanese Cherry Tree Festival in late April and early May, 22,000 Japanese cherry trees on the Royal Palace Estate. Uh, plus you could go to the Nabuta Festival, which is uh, the picture of the sort of uh, Japanese patron lantern there of the dragon and the warrior. That's an amazing festival uh, to behold, but there's so many of them. So please have a look at that. Really great, great itineraries in Japan. Uh, anywhere from eight uh, to, uh, sorry, five to 18 days. Uh, you can go around the entire islands. Uh, and there's three main island groups that you can cruise around. So have a good look at those ones. Back into Asia as well, anywhere from three to 21 days. Most of our itineraries are round trip from Singapore. You'll be able to experience the floating markets of the Malaysian Peninsula and Indonesia. Uh, you'll also experience Thailand and Vietnam uh, all throughout Southeast Asia. It is a truly spectacular region of the world to sail through. And we do have a wonderful new shore excursion, uh, sorry, a, a cruise tour that was uh, prepared for 2023. That is an overland shore a trip that takes you into Siem Reap in Cambodia with two full days exploring Angkor Wat. 
Uh, so definitely some great memories to be built in Asia uh, and some great itineraries. So have, hopefully you'll have a look at those ones. Now, South America, gee, another huge seller for us. Uh, and this is anywhere from 14 to 34 days. The most popular itinerary is 14 days sailing between Buenos Aires and Santiago or vice versa. Um, don't forget those cruise tours here. We can take you to see Machu Picchu uh, and we can also take you to see Iguazu Falls on the uh, Argentinian and Brazilian side. <coughs> so speaking of cruise tours, that was my whirlwind tour of, uh, of the planet. Again, I can't go over every itinerary. Uh, you'd just be here way too long, but we do have some spectacular journeys built in for you. And these great cruise tours. Now, please don't forget to ask your Expedia consultants about these because they really, really, really will enhance your vacation experience. Um, most people think about our cruise tours as only being in Alaska because that's where we are the biggest. Uh, but we do have cruise tours all over the world. South America, as I said, in Japan, we can put you on the bullet train and take you into Kyoto and the heart of Alaska, <laughs> Alaska, Japan. Um, I mentioned to you the one in uh, Asia now that takes you into Angkor Wat. In Canada, New England, we can take you uh, through the historical culture of the United States, learn about the signing of the Declaration of Independence, the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia. Uh, you'll see all about the Boston Tea Party. On the Canadian side, you go to uh, Niagara Falls, Toronto, Montreal. Um, and I really want to point out Europe. We have cruise tours in Europe uh, throughout Spain. You'll see the beautiful Spanish Riviera. We also have uh, tours of the Ring of Kerry in Ireland um, as well. You can go uh, in Italy. Now, this one's really, really important. Venice is probably on everybody's bucket list as one of those great cities you want to see in your lifetime. And unfortunately, very few cruise lines are permitted to sail into Venice anymore because the city of Venice has banned large cruise ships. You pretty much have to sail in on a small yacht type experience in order to get there. But we can still take you to Venice with a wonderful cruise tour. You would start in Venice. We would do a beautiful tour of St. Mark's Square. You'd see the Doge's Palace, the beautiful cathedral, a canal cruise. All of Venice is yours with all that great food. Uh, we'll take you down to Florence and show you that famous cathedral, the beautiful statue of David. We'll even take you to Pisa for the Leaning Tower uh, before you board your ship in Rome for a great Mediterranean cruise. New in 2023 as well is a fantastic new cruise tour. And the picture of that is the bottom center of your uh, screen. And this is the best of Greece. Now it's five nights on land. Uh, and what you're seeing there, that is a picture of the Meteoria Monastery. Now Meteoria in Greece basically says suspended in air. And you can't really see it in this picture, but from different angles, it's uh, all perched atop rock formations, and it really does look like the monastery is floating in air. So think about those cruise tours. We offer them all over the world. They really do enhance your vacation experience and, and allow you to see more inland cities that you wouldn't be able to see from the port cities that our ships service. So let's talk about the three-day sale offer this year. It starts with our great evergreen promotion called Princess Plus. Now, for those of you who aren't interested in these perks, you can certainly book our uh, Princess Saver Fairs. Now, these would be for people who don't care about the perks, you just want the rock bottom pricing, and we can certainly offer that for you. However, we recommend for $40 more per person, that's what the difference is between Princess Saver Fairs and Princess Plus, for $40 more per person per day, you are going to have your premier beverage package, um, 15 cocktails a day, unlimited uh, amounts of non-alcoholic beverages, including your bottled water, specialty coffees, smoothies, milkshakes, all of that great stuff available for you, as well as that unlimited Wi-Fi, that great medallion net that I talked about earlier. It's unlimited. You log in at the beginning of the cruise and you never sign out. You never have to worry about your minutes tipping away because you forget to log out. Uh, and it is so fast. You'll really enjoy that. And of course, we do pay our daily crew incentive, which is what we are now calling our gratuities. This is the hotel and restaurant charges. You will not have to tip anybody other than maybe a spa attendant or if you wanted to give somebody else some money who really went over and above and gave you great service. So that's part of the three-day sale. So if we look at the offer this year, 
You must book between August 19th and 21st. Those are the days of the three-day sale. We cannot give you these prices or perks uh, before that or after. And I'm also going to put in a little caveat here. The reason we're doing this uh, presentation to you now is because the consultants will actually be so busy the 19th to the 21st making bookings uh, that it's going to be hard for them to, to uh, actually find time to see you. So make sure if you're interested in anything, you get in touch with your consultant early. Uh, they will give you a pre-registration form. They'll take down all of your information so that during the sale, probably August the 19th at the stroke of midnight, they'll be up making your bookings to make sure you get the very best rates. So we're going to offer you the Princess Plus perks. That's all of your drinks, the Wi-Fi, and your gratuities included, plus up to $700 onboard spending money, depending on the type of cabin and the length of your journey. You're also going to get Expedia exclusive reward points. Now, we all love our reward points in Canada, whether it's Shoppers Drug Mart or your local grocery store. And why not book through Expedia? Get those points that you can redeem for future travel. Now, Expedia also has a coupon book available for you because of a great cruise sale that they have. So that's $900 in savings for onboard shopping and shore excursions. Uh, and with that sale comes a reduced deposit. It'll be $100 only, which is refundable to secure your 22 and 23 voyages. Uh, and uh, it's also 125 Canadian or 100 American. Uh, so that choice is yours. And we have just announced today, we've also included everything remaining in our lineup for 2021. So when this sale hits, you can book anything we have on sale right through the end of uh, 2023. It's anything from four days up to 49 days in length that is combinable. And it's really all the layers of value that really, really make this sale sing. So let's look at that because there are 14 different ways that you can add value to this already great offer. So let's start at the top bubble on the left-hand side. Just for booking your cruise during the three-day sale, you're going to get that exclusive onboard credit up to $700 in value. Plus, we're going to give you the beverage package, also the unlimited Wi-Fi, our gratuities, the crew incentive is included. You'll get that cruise uh, coupon book. You'll get the reduced deposit, $100 US or $125 Canadian. Expedia Cruises does more business with Princess than any other travel supplier in Canada. Because of that, they get the best pricing, and they also have the best uh, ability to block their space. They've already bought their group space well into 2023. So with that group space comes a, a, a reduced group fare, uh, which is anywhere from 50 to $100 off per person. Then we have the great group amenities on board credit or bottles of wine, whatever it is they may have added. You'll get those reward points. Um, there's a little bit of a typo in this bubble, and I apologize for that. But this is future cruise deposits that give you another onboard credit. If you sailed with us pre-COVID, pre-pandemic, and you bought a future cruise deposit, you can use that to pay for the deposit of the three-day sale and get more onboard credits because of that. If you are a past passenger with Princess, you will get uh, the Captain Circle launch savings, which is another $100 off. And if you are active or retired from the Canadian, British, or American military, we can give you up to $250 American onboard credit as a thank you for serving our countries. As well, two people in the cabin are allowed to have that military credit, which is up to $500 in value. Plus, sorry, another typo here. This says future cruise deposits. This should read future cruise credits. Now, if you were traveling with us and unfortunately your cruise was canceled because of the pandemic, we issued you a future cruise credit. You can use that future cruise credit to pay off the balance of your three-day sale. So you may not even have to open your wallet to get a great, great value three-day sale cruise. Plus, if you are a shareholder with Princess Cruises and our parent company, Carnival Corporation, you will get more onboard credit for being part of our country company. So those are the 14 layers of value. It truly is the best sale of the year. Uh, our relationship with Expedia certainly gives them the opportunity to do this. We don't do this with any other cruise line out there. Oh, I can't speak tonight with any other travel agency out there. Uh, it's exclusive to them. Uh, so please do take advantage of this. It really is the best offer of the year. I just want to put a little bug in your head as well. Uh, and this is all about celebrating. We missed so very much during this pandemic, whether it was great granny's 95th birthday or someone graduating from university or maybe a milestone wedding anniversary. All of these things we missed as well as just being together with our friends and our family and sharing hugs. We can all do that once again. Um, and we are seeing people book groups left, right and center just to get together again with friends and family 
and celebrate on our ships. So think about that. It might be the perfect opportunity for you to get together with your family, your friends, and celebrate all that we missed. So in closing today, I'm just going to ask, where will you go next? Because if there is an ocean, Princess can take you there. And I just wanna say thank you for all your continued support and for hanging in there with us during this horrible pandemic. From all of us at Sea and Shore, thank you so much. Uh, and we look forward to welcoming you on board one of our beautiful princess ships again very soon. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Fred uh, to see if he has any closing remarks. And Wade, I just want to say thank you. You were <laughs> phenomenal. That slide about celebrating. I'm celebrating just listening to you discuss I right? it again. <laughs> Now I've got like four more things I jotted down here that I want to see. But, you know, that's what I love about what the way you do that for us. There's another um, princess webinar tomorrow. Some of you may have seen it. It's more of a generic high level corporate generated one, which is nice. But Wade goes out of his way to, to do a lot more itineraries for us. And like you were pointing out the Jerusalem the two-day thing that that's fabulous and then the yeah. limited itineraries of scandinavia russia iceland and then you had those four hot three-day sail out of vancouver like just fabulous wade fabulous we virtual class well, thank you wade, um in, in, oh, in, pleasure thank you my yeah. pleasure um i'm going to now look at the chat there's a few questions in there wade if you don't mind uh, sure and if anybody has any i'd, I'd ask you to put them there uh, let me just see if I can get this on my screen. Some of them I'm trying to answer ahead of time if I can, but they're not that easy. Yes, well, uh, this there was a gentleman that was really concerned about the safety uh, traveling South America in March of 2022. Uh, it's a bucket list trip uh, that he's got. Um, I didn't know if we would be discussing anything along those lines. Like we said earlier, Wade, it's probably just there's a lot of anxiety and a lot of the future that we can't predict uh, at this time. Is that correct? Understandable. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. That's, that's, um, I really you, know, you know, Fred, when yeah. it comes to that anxiety, and I appreciate the anxiety that, that people have because the future is so unknown. Um, you know, we don't know what will happen in the future. Uh, but the one thing I can say with confidence is throughout this whole awful pandemic, Princess has really been the leader in the industry to look after both of our guests and our travel agent partners. Um, and we don't see anything changing in that field. So if you're concerned about booking something in 2022 because of what may happen with the pandemic, uh, fear not, Princess will always look after you. Uh, we're never going to leave you high or dry. Uh, you know, you are our bread and butter and uh, we will always look after you. So unfortunately, you know, my boss always likes to say that our crystal ball unfortunately broke 18 months ago and we can't see what's in the future. Um, but, you know, the three day sale, it's like I said, $125 deposit. It's 100% refundable if things don't work for us. But one thing I will say without a shadow of a doubt is that our travel restrictions won't last forever, but neither will our inventory. We always have to remember that we're in competition with the Australians as well as the Americans uh, to purchase these itineraries. Uh, and the Americans are so far ahead of us as far as opening the countries up again. Uh, and they're buying up, they're gobbling, like it's going out of style. People have had no travel in two years and 2020, 20, 2022 is turning out to be the best year in our company's history. So that's my best advice is the travel restrictions won't, lie, won't last forever, neither will our inventory. Book now and we can always uh, make things right in the future if things don't turn out in our favor. <laughs> is there anything that would happen if somebody was to uh, test positive or something if they're elite? Uh, I, I don't know if that's possible. There's a question around that. Um, what Princess might do for guests or have you heard anything to this point um, along the way if you're going like say to the cruise and it doesn't happen? Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't really know how to answer that. If it means specifically more sort of testing positive before the cruise or yes. during the cruise, um, there would nothing really be special for elite. Uh, in that case, we would look after all of our guests equally, uh, but Princess would certainly look after you. Um, it's our responsibility. Uh, we do have testing facilities on the ship. With the Ocean Medallion now, we have great new medical facilities available. Uh, and that medallion just gives us an, an extra layer of safety. Uh, if you think about it, you know, I told you, you no longer have to go to a muster station drill. Uh, there's no longer a worry about touching anything to buy anything. It's all done electronically with the medallion. Uh, 
Uh, we will be sailing uh, less than 100% occupancy, uh, just as a CDC guideline. Plus, Princess has decided we will always sail with approximately 25 balcony cabins open uh, in case anybody gets anything on the ship, whether it's Noro, the measles, whatever might happen, we have empty balcony cabins to isolate them in where they can still get fresh air versus going into an inside cabin. That would be horrible. Um, we've expanded our medical facilities. There's now uh, twice the doctors and nurses on our ships than there was before. Uh, we also have the ability to uh, have doctors do house calls, if you will, to your cabin versus you coming down to the medical center. We have developed new cleansing products that actually stick to surfaces and, and uh, kill viruses. Uh, both noro, COVID, all those kind of viruses for up to 24 hours, but we will continue, continue to clean about every four hours uh, just to make sure we're overabundantly cautious. Um, and there are new procedures and policies taking place every day, um, but we certainly do look after our guests. There is uh, no question about that. So I don't know if we answered your question or not, but I hope maybe I did it in a little way. Some good information there. Will there be mandatory vaccination proof needed to board the ships? In 2021, yes, um, and that was not a princess decision, that was a CDC directive that if we wanted to return sailing, we had to sail at 100% occupancy. Now that decision is only till the end of 2021. We have not got any guidance or directives from the CDC for 2022. And you know, to speculate on what they will or will not do, um, you know, I, it all depends on this terrible variant and how much it proceeds uh, and how many people in the world uh, tend to protect themselves with the vaccines, uh, what the CDC will do as we move forward. But unfortunately, till then, we have to wait to see what they're going to do. Uh, but everybody has to be vaccinated uh, in, in right now as well. Uh, Carnival Corporation made a new directive that was announced a couple of days ago. If you are sailing with us starting August 15th of 2021 through the end of October, um, just because of all of the uh, outbreak, outbreaks with the Delta variant, we are now requiring a negative PCR test uh, to be given to us in order to board the ship, as well as customers will be asked to wear masks in public venues on board the ships, but that is only till the end of October. We don't know uh, what will happen beyond then or into 2022. Okay, thank you. Uh, somebody sailing with a five and nine year old grandsons in late February of 2022. Um, they're saying, is, do you, have you heard of princesses discussing or allowing a later final payment date due to, until the, the kids can be vaccinated? Um, I haven't heard of that, but certainly if that's a concern of yours, we could take those individual cases to our customer relations department to see how they can accommodate you. Um, but as well, if you purchase our insurance, uh, which is a very low premium, you would be covered right up till time of departure if you changed your mind uh, and would get all of your money back uh, through a future cruise credit with the insurance company. Um, but you know, right now I can tell you that we are not allowing children on the ships till the end of 2021. We don't know what's gonna happen in 2022. Family cruising is such a large part of our organization that we certainly hope that'll happen. But right now, unfortunately, I don't have any information on what the CDC is gonna to dictate to us. Okay, Medallion app question. Uh, the app only works on some newer devices and somebody's having a problem because they've got an older one and they're saying, um, why, did you know why we can't enter the info through the website anymore? And are there any suggestions short of purchasing a new device uh, to enter the pre-cruise info now, Wade? Absolutely. Um, you know, we are certainly working on that. We know it's a problem. Anything lower than an iPhone 6 is very frustrating for you to use. Oftentimes doesn't work. Uh, anything above that works like a charm. Uh, but we do understand that there are problems with that. Uh, contact your Expedia consultant. We do have something called an Ocean Navigators line that they can contact and try to get some assistance for you. They can't actually do it for you, but they can really offer some suggestions and workarounds to make it less frustrating and, and get you set up. So for sure, for sure. Uh, okay, uh, Singapore and to see them reap um, yeah. 2023. Um, and I think it was, where is it from or going from? Did it's you from work? Singapore, the cruise is round trip of Singapore. Um, and the cruise tour also starts in Singapore. So you just have to get round trip airfare from Canada to Singapore. Once you get there, uh, part of the cruise tour is to fly you into Siem Reap and Cambodia. Uh, you, it's actually, I believe, a five or six night land tour. Uh, there's other places you're going to go other than just uh, Anchor Wat, but you get two full days there and overnight in Siem Reap to see all of that and then fly back to Singapore to join the cruise. 
And did you say what the date was? Did you know that? No, it's ongoing because it's combinable with all of our round trip Singapore cruises. So, uh, you know, it's in the Europe reference flyer, Fred, for 2023. Okay. And if you guys can't find it, come to me and I'll make sure you get the information well in advance of the sale. Thank you. Um, I, I, I can guess the answer to this question. Uh, any news about mixed vaccines? <laughs> oh, yeah. What a pain, eh? We got stuck in Canada. I've got one AstraZeneca, one Moderna, so I'm with all of you. Um, that's, what, that's called a muggle, you know, like a Harry Potter. I know. <laughs> I, I coined that phrase, actually. I think I'm a muggle. I'm a mixed, mixed blood. Um, but yeah, it, it's not a princess decision. I mean, it broke princess's heart after having no re revenue for a year and a half to suddenly have to tell people that... You, with mixed vaccines that you can't come on board. Uh, again, that's a CDC decision, probably because uh, America never did uh, authorize AstraZeneca to be used in the United States. Uh, two AstraZeneca shots for some reason are fine from the CDC, but a mixture of one AstraZeneca with either a Pfizer or Moderna is not accepted. But again, that is only till the end of 2021. I know there is so much uh, banter back and forth, uh, even between the Canadian government and many countries in the world and the, and the CDC to try and rectify that because we are considered fully vaccinated in our country. So hopefully that'll change by the time 22 uh, arrives. But right now that's only applicable for 2021 voyages. I had heard a stat that you know you are in the 12% if you are mixed. There's a, something like 60 to 65% are fully vaccinated, but there's only 12 to 15% that were actually mixed. So you're in the minority. We're the really special people, Fred. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 sadly, yes, I know. Uh, somebody had mentioned, uh, you had mentioned Wade, Alaska in the spring, but what is it like in September? Just off the top of your head, I think it may Oh, be yeah, no, it's fabulous. You can have some great weather in September, but again, it is starting to cool off because, you know, winter is coming for them. Uh, but it's still very, very, very beautiful itineraries uh, and great weather conditions. I mean, you know, sometimes you might be getting more into starting to see more rain than you would be in the dead of summer. Um, but I've been there in September and it was beautiful and we were laying by the pool in Juneau like it was the Caribbean. So, you know, who knows what the weather is these days with global warming, but just cross your fingers. But it's been nice when I've been there in September. Definitely the value would stick out then in September as oh, well. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, last question I saw there was, I think you may have answered, somebody was just mentioning being how will you be protected on board? And you had listed off a raft of different changes and requirements that the CDC had, had put in place to change for cruise ships to, to do, um, to be able to sail again and all cruise ships uh, had to abide by. Absolutely. So, and you know, that changes almost on a weekly basis as we get new science, new technology. Uh, so who knows what 2022 will bring, uh, mm -hmm. but we've got a lot of stuff lined up uh, that we will implement on the ships. If in fact, we don't have to have fully vaccinated or if mixed vaccines are allowed, whatever, we've got plans in place. Uh, one thing I didn't mention that I know you're probably all asking about is buffets. That's a big question with us. We still have buffets on board the ship. There is just now a piece of plexiglass between the customer and the food. Uh, and we have this cavalcade of crew members lined up at each station. Uh, and because people like to eat with their eyes, right? So um, they will point at what they want to eat. We will put it on the plate for them. It goes down the conveyor belt. And at the end, we pass it through, like I'm calling it a mail slot, through the plexiglass to the, to the uh, guests to enjoy their lunch. Wow. Well, listen, Wade, that, I got through all the questions here. Um, I, I want to uh, not only thank you, Wade, for carving time. I do appreciate you. You take care of us so well, and, and we are always grateful for, for your help and assistance. But I also want to thank everybody that's uh, on, the, uh, on the call right now, you know, our loyal customers that I get to see and, and hear about and your names and whatnot. Um, you know, frankly, we need you in this travel recovery. It's been a long mm. time with no revenue. And so, you know, if you're looking to cruise, uh, we're going to try our very best to show you the new itineraries and what's available and what's out there and to understand the new things that are being done on board to make uh, cruising safe again. I do believe it will be the safest way to travel in the future for sure. Um, I, love that, I love that the cruise lines took that approach versus just defending against something. They said, no, heck no, we go further. We will be yeah. the safest way to, to travel. So I, I do like that. Um, I do, you know, we miss talking to people and hearing them come back with their stories. Uh, you, it's funny how much you took it for granted when you, we did it for 20 plus years before that. But um, yeah. we're looking you know, Fred, we, we started sailing on July 25th out of Seattle to Alaska. And I wasn't on board the ship, obviously, but 
Uh, we had about 100 people from our executive team that were on board the ship, and they said there wasn't a dry eye in the place when the guests boarded. They were all crying and saying they were so thankful to be back on board the ship. All of the staff lined up in the corridors and clapped as our guests boarded the ship, and it was just amazing to get back in the water and return to sailing. So I bet it will be. <laughs> yeah, real soon. Okay, well, on that note, we will sign off. I look forward to hearing uh, everybody and seeing more itineraries on the three-day sail and ma making uh, success. Um, it'll just continue to unfold for us. If you have any other questions, your crews and vacation consultants are standing by waiting to help you. Uh, thanks Perfect. again, everybody, for carving time tonight. And Wade, thank you again for your great, great knowledge. Pleasure. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe out there. <laughs>